Hey what's up everyone, Ollie here. So finally I'm getting around to doing a 2019 house tour. I should have done one a few months ago, but you know, life things come up, either the house isn't tidy or something else is going on in my life. I just haven't had a chance to. But we're doing it, the house is clean, the house is tidy, um, and yeah, it's ready for the 2019 house tour. I do wanna say though, before we start, it's never finished. My house is never ever going to be finished. So if something doesn't look right, something doesn't look finished, it's probably because I just haven't got around to it. When you get your own house, when you get your own apartment, it's pretty much an ongoing interior design project. So I like it, I enjoy it because styles and things always change. So it's always nice to sort of adapt your house and, and do the design how you want to. But anyway, let's get right into it. So as soon as you come in, this is what you see. You see the hallway, you can see myself over there in the, in the reflection. This is my hallway. Um, I have all my coats sort of like all bundled up in one place. Um, the stairs there and then all of my shoes. I have way too many shoes, way, way too many shoes. And on the right side, I have a mirror, sort of an entrance mirror. So you can see yourself when you're, when you're putting on a coat, jacket or whatever it is. And then here I have a, a wooden panel. If I step back a little bit. So this wooden panel is supposed to basically set um, it apart from the rest of the hallway. Um, I had done that intentionally and the plan is to put coat hooks on there so I can hang my coats up instead of having them just all bundled up <laughs> at the end of the stairs pretty much. Um, obviously that's the doorway and then I have a window here which is shut because I don't want anyone looking in whilst I'm recording this video. Um, but yeah, if we carry on through the hallway, under here is a under a stairs closet pretty much. And then over here we have a nice large round mirror this mirror I think is from Dunelm and this console table that you see here is from Swoon Editions. It's a marble and iron console table. It's really nice, I really like it. And then this valet sort of tray here just holds my keys and my wallet. That's from Ikea actually, surprisingly. And then I have a picture or, or a painting uh, that I picked up from New York when I went to New York uh, two years ago, which is pretty nice. Just a nice way to remember New York pretty much. That little device down there that you see is actually my thermostat. It's a wireless thermostat so I can control the temperature in the house. Plan is to, to put some stuff up on the wall over here because obviously it does look very plain. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell, but the wall is actually a very, very light gray. It's a custom color. I wish I could, I wish I could give you guys the, the color code, but I don't actually know the color. It's just a custom color. But yeah, actually, well, I forgot to mention that mirror is from Ikea and the stool that you see there is from Dwell. So if we go along and then we go right we go into my living room. So my living room is definitely unfinished. There's a few more things that I need to do in here. So this chair that you see here is from John Lewis. The lamp is from Ikea, surprisingly. It's sort of like a gold slash brass lamp um, and the lampshade as well is from Ikea. This sort of bookshelf thing that you see is from John Lewis again. And this is, it's made from walnut and brass. So, you know, there's brass finishes and there's walnut here. And there's just, you know, various different accessories all over it pretty much. Um, I do sort of need to decorate that properly. And then we have my TV and the TV is an LG TV. I've done a video on this already. So, so if you wanna see a video to that, it's on my channel. I've also recently got a new soundbar. I think it's the LG SL8Y, but I'm not completely sure. I will leave links in the description to everything. And then I have a plant. There's a few different names for this plant. Some people call it like a snake plant. Some people call it mother's tongue. I don't actually know the official name for it. The cabinets you see here are basically floating. They're on the wall, um, you know, and the TV as well. I've tried to hide the wires as, as best as I could. I've done a video on how I've done that. That cabinet is from Ikea. And then over here, we just have my sofa. There is a big space because I am on the search for a coffee table but I just haven't found the right coffee table yet. I've looked at so many different coffee tables. Nothing has just looked right. You know, I need something that's narrow so that I can fit it in that sort of space. But then at the same time, I want it to match my style and I want it to be the style that I want. I just haven't found one I've liked yet. So yeah, this sofa again is from Sween Editions. I don't actually know where the cushions and stuff are from. And then I have my Apple TV remote here. And then I have my subwoofer for, I don't know if you guys can see that. I have my subwoofer for my soundbar back here. And then a nice little sort of task light that I use when I, because I usually sit here and I, and I read something or, or browse my iPad or my phone whilst I'm watching TV. Over here, I just have another little side table. This is from Swing Editions again, and this is made from marble and iron. Uh, really nice, actually. Really well finished. And there's some cables and stuff. This light here that you see is from John Lewis. It's really nice, actually. So you can actually tap the end of it and change the color and then turn it off. Um, yeah, pretty clever. I really like it. It's a really, really nice lamp. If we go back into the hallway, 
On the right, we have my kitchen. So my kitchen, it does need a little bit of work to be honest. I need to change these can stops, I don't like it. And you know, it's not super tidy or super clean. It's clean, actually I'd say it's clean, but it's just not super tidy. You know, I have a lot of stuff on the counters and stuff. And then I have like my washing machine, dishwasher hidden away, fridge, freezer here. And then I have a table and chairs. Um, this table is from John Lewis, really nice walnut table. I like it. And then I have this tray. I think this tray is from John Lewis again, not 100% sure. The bin and stuff, not too interesting really. But over here, I have another sort of TV setup. I have my Apple TV on it. This is just an Apple TV screensaver. This sideboard is very nice. So this sideboard is from Dwell, has a nice marble top, and it's made from walnut again. As you guys can probably tell, I'm a big fan of walnut. I love the walnut sort of look. I just think it looks nice and, and classy and adds some color to an otherwise very gray, very white sort of space. This thing, this thing here, I've been searching for these things for so long, but they're always really, really expensive. I ended up finding this one from John Lewis. It's still expensive because it is made from real marble and it's on a sort of like brass stand. I think it was like 70 pounds. It is still quite expensive, but I've always liked them. I think they look awesome. So even though this little device shows the time, this actually measures the air quality in the kitchen. So it will tell me if the air is, is you know, just bad quality, if there's a lot of carbon monoxide or whatever else. I do have a carbon monoxide detector up there anyway. But yeah, this is just a nice way to, to have the time in the kitchen, but then at the same time measure the quality of the air. Um, if we go back out, we go into my office. So I will have a detailed video of my office coming up soon. But if we go in, we have an IKEA shelving unit here, just a, a simple one. I need to get rid of this really. I'm not the biggest fan of it, but it will do for now. It just holds a, a few things here and there. And then I have a desk. So this desk here will actually end up becoming my PC and gaming setup when I've got that video done and when I've got that sort of thing sorted. So there's just a 4K monitor there from AOC. I have a MacBook stand. I have a Bang & Olufsen speaker here, a BO Sound 2. I have an Ikea desk, sort of like tabletop sitting on top of some Ikea legs. This is actually a dining chair from my kitchen, but I have it in here. Um, I have a bag down here, so plug, quick plug. This is actually a ULX backpack that I have here. And again, another quick plug, ULX desk mat. Um, so if you guys are interested in that sort of stuff and wanna support me, check out the store. I'll, I'll leave a link to it down in the description below. Empty space, and that is purposefully empty because I use it for when I wanna record stuff, when I wanna take pictures and stuff, I like a nice little empty space. I can also put my video gear whenever I'm recording or whatever. So yeah, it's just a nice little empty space. Blinds, not too interesting, but over here I have a few things. Two IKEA Besta units that I use just to store stuff away. My PC case for my PC build, which is upcoming. Uh, Google Pixel, which I just got very recently with the serial and stuff, pretty neat. I have a Logi Circle camera here just to you know, keep an eye on the office pretty much. Mr. Porter box, I got some stuff from Mr. Porter recently. And then I have this nice Ikea light. A lot of people ask where did I get these lights from? So this light is actually from Ikea. They don't actually do it anymore. They, uh, they don't sell this light anymore. It was an exclusive only for a few weeks. So I got pretty lucky and I got one of those. Ikea frames with some pictures in them. And then I have this really nice JWDA lamp, I think it's called, if I turn it on. Um, yeah, it flickers a little bit because obviously, you know, it's, it's not a photography light, so it's gonna flicker, but you can dim it and whatever else. I really like it, I think it looks awesome. It has a nice concrete base with a brass sort of handle. Over here, I have a IKEA trolley, which I use to basically store my camera gear. So as you can see, I have a lot of camera lenses, a lot of camera gear. I have a camera bag down here, and then I have some sort of just cables and stuff. Not too tidy, to be honest. <laughs> And then over here, we have my main setup. So this is my main sort of workspace where I work from, but I also game from. That's why you see that monitor there. This desk is from Ikea. It's sitting on some Ikea markers drawers. So this is a 200 centimeter wide desk, uh, 60 centimeters deep. So it's not the deepest desk. It's not actually that deep, but it, um, I didn't want a desk where that was too deep because I don't want it to take up a lot of office space because my office space isn't that big. This is supposed to be a dining room, but I've turned it into my own office. So over here we have some prints from linksupply.com that I've actually designed myself. So if you guys wanna check those out, I'll leave a link in the description below. 
I have a Muto, I think it is. I think it's pronounced Muto or Mu, I don't even know, it must be Muto. Um, it's a sort of black iron shelf which goes on the wall, which is really nice. And then I just have like a, a picture frame in it. I need to put more stuff in there to be honest. Back here I have another one of those IKEA lamps. I also have my PS4 and I have a sort of a, a network attached storage and then I have my router. So I have my PS4 hooked up to this display here, which is a Dell P2415Q. I always used to recommend these displays, but you know, there's a lot more displays on the market now, so I probably wouldn't recommend it anymore. I'd probably recommend this. This is a much nicer, much better looking display. I use a 5K iMac for all of my work. Again, another ULX store desk mat. And then over here, I just have a few accessories. I have um, just another snake, sort of snake plant. I have this marble sort of dish from H&M. I have this tray. A lot of people ask where this tray is from. This tray is from Next. Um, and then I've got this sort of paperweight and then a Starbucks bottle. Back here I have my tripod, which I use for my videos and stuff. You can see there's a lot of cables over there. I really need to sort those out. But you can't actually see them when you're, when you're sitting on the desk or whatever. You can just about see a few cables and you can see the subwoofer down there for my speaker. This chair is the black IKEA Marcus chair. I really like it. I actually think I prefer it over the Herman Miller Aaron chairs, which are much more expensive. I think it's because I like the headrest. You know, you can sit back in the chair properly and you can have the headrest. And you know, when I'm gaming or when I'm watching movies or stuff or TV shows, it's really nice on, on, the, on the iMac. So yeah, that is pretty much my office. If we go left outside of my office, we have my bathroom, my downstairs toilet. Um, yeah, and then we have a massive old mirror. I really like the mirror in here. Um, yeah, nothing too interesting, but I just really love the mirror in here. It's just really nice. It makes the, it makes the bathroom look really big. So that is the downstairs. So if we go upstairs, we're just gonna go all the way up the stairs. So here we have my sort of upstairs hallway. I need to get some sort of table here and maybe some pictures or something on the wall because it does look very plain. This is a mesh Wi-Fi point, whatever you wanna call it. Um, sort of like, a, a, that's the room for the cylinder where the hot water is, laundry room, and then just another spare room. And then this is the room that a lot of people are gonna be upset by. <laughs> but when I need to basically put stuff somewhere but I don't have anywhere, I put it in here, which is an absolute tip. Absolute mess in here. I really need to organize this room. A lot of boxes for a lot of random stuff. Um, this has basically just become like the junk room. I think everyone has a room like this in their house where you just wanna put stuff away and don't wanna think about it. So <laughs> at some point I've really got to sort out this room. It's an absolute disaster. If we go along, we have the family bathroom. This is basically unused. It's never ever used. Um, bathtub and stuff, but yeah, lots of toilet tissue. You can never have enough, never have enough. Laundry basket, which I use obviously just for laundry. And then we have the bedroom. So this is my main bedroom that I sleep in, of course. I really like these panoramic windows. Obviously I have them closed right now because I don't want people to look in, but yeah, I really love these panoramic windows. This bed is from Swoon Editions again. Uh, these side tables that you see here are from Swoon Editions again. And then these lamps are from John Lewis. I really like these lamps. They're basically touch lamps. They're really cool. They're from John Lewis. And then, you know, just like bedding and stuff. So I had my cleaner come around and, and clean my house. That's why I'm recording this video because the house is really nice and clean. Again, another side table. Um, if I turn the lamp off so you can see better. And yeah, another side table, um, a Native Union wireless charger, an Apple Watch charger from Native Union again. And then there's just this random bottle like i don't even know what brand it is or anything it's unbranded i don't know where i got it from i'll be honest and then if we go over here we just have my wardrobe so you know i have really big mirrored wardrobe really like it i have some shoes that i bought recently and a ulx uh, duffel bag weekender um but yeah i've done a what's in my wardrobe video already so if you guys want to check that out it's, it is on my channel and then we have the ensuite so the ensuite is not the cleanest right now, but I mean, it's fairly clean, I guess. Um, so a lot of you ask, you know, what do I do to my skin? Uh, what's my skincare routine or, or whatever? So my skincare routine, I don't have one. I'll be honest with you, I just don't have one. I basically just wash my face every day, 
have a shower and whatever else and then just moisturize it that's pretty much it i don't actually do anything else to my skin you know i have a few random things here um aesop stuff and some harry shaving cream and some moisturizer but that's it you know i don't actually use any sort of special creams or anything i just try to eat properly and and basically just stay healthy i think that is the most important thing when it comes to your skin so yeah that's pretty much it for my 2019 house tour video i will be doing videos on specific rooms at some point you know when those rooms are finished especially in my office you know i need to do a proper video on that and my living room once i get a coffee table and some prints on the wall but yeah i will be doing specific sort of room tour videos as well so make sure to subscribe if you enjoyed this video follow me on instagram and twitter and thanks for watching